All right, hey everybody, this is going to be Inclusion. This is the sequel to my local file inclusion video. This is a beginner level LFI challenge. Um, it will be our first machine that is not a guided room. So we are gonna head right into it. Uh, I've deployed the machine, this is the IP address. Uh, deploy your own and let's uh, go. So once the machine is deployed, you can head on over to the IP address, you cut to this blog. And I'm just gonna start by clicking through it a little bit, trying to see what we got. Uh, this is gonna be a completely unscripted, I haven't worked through this box yet. Um, so we're just gonna try to go through. So this is my second time recording this video. I was in the middle of recording it and I had to take a phone call. So I'm gonna be trying this again. Um, so it looks like this is an article, the name equals hacking. This looks like our parameter we can do LFI on. Uh, let's head back and look into some other things. LFI attack. An attacker needs to use local file closure. Yep, yep, yep. Um, just read through this. Da, 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 da. Directory traversal, even without the ability to upload or execute code. Example file dot slash dot slash dot slash dot slash dot slash password. So let's try doing that. Let's do dot dot slash dot dot slash. And this is what I did the f before I had to stop. Etsy password. You can see that that doesn't work. Um, so I decided just to try doing the, oops, do the four sets of dot dot slash. So let's do that and see if that works. There you go. And then I wanted to see if it worked with like the shadow file. Maybe we could crack some passwords so it does work with the shadow file. So we're looking in the Etsy password and you see that Falcon Feast is the user. They have a home directory of Falcon Feast, but it also shows hashtag Falcon Feast root password. So maybe we can try to log in as Falcon Feast. So let's do, uh, let's come to here and Falcon Feast at 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. Let's just clear it. There we go. So SSH Falcon Feast root password let's try root password and it looks like we've logged in and this is where i got to before i had to restart the video so we are now logged in as falcon feast on the inclusion box um, let's see what we got oh articles and user.txt we're obviously going to want user.txt and we're going to copy that out and we're going to put that into the flag field submit and now we're gonna have to figure out how to escalate the privileges. But first I'm gonna look around a little bit to see kind of like how the box is set up. Let's do CD, CD to articles, LS. Okay, so these are just the articles. I can probably just cat this, right? Yeah, these are just like the articles. Okay, let me uh, full screen this. All right, so we'll go to CD, CD. So now we're in a home, ls, see what there is, cd, just Falcon Feast is the only user. Let's see what we got. All right, yep, so just typical stuff. Um, let's do sudo dash l, let's see what we can run. We can run user bin socat. So let's uh, go to gtfo bins and do the same kind of thing we did last video and see what we can work up with gtfo. Oops. I was looking at unshadowing the shadow folder and um, cracking the password with John, but uh, I don't think that would have been possible. So let's do home. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm on a whole different thing. All right. There we go. Let's do GTFO. There we go. GTF opens and let's just put in so cat. Oh, look, shell or virtual shell, bind shell, file upload, file download, sudo. Cool. All right, shell. It can be used to break out of restricted environments by spawning a shell. This is not a proper TTY shell and lacks the prompt. Bind shell, file upload, file download, sudo, runs in a privileged context. So we're going to do the sudo one, but you could probably do a file upload. Uh, do a bind shell, just do other things, but so we'll do sudo. We'll just copy this and let's do paste. Let's paste it in, see what happens. All 
Uh oh. Looks like we broke it. We broke it, guys. We broke it. Oh, never mind. It works. Okay, so I am root. So let's do cd to. Uh, Let's print working directory, see where I am. Okay, so I'm, on, I'm still in slash, so let's do cd root cat uh, ls first root dot text. Easy. There's the flag. So once again, that was just a super quick video. These videos are not meant to be in depth, uh, really. These are beginner videos. I thought that would be a little harder and a little bit more digging than it was, but <laughs> that's completed. Once again, feel free to reach out to me on Discord if you want help. Re follow me on Twitter, linked in the description below. Leave a comment on the video if you enjoyed, if you hated it, dislike it, I guess. Uh, let me know what I can do better. And uh, let's do the next box soon. All right, see you guys.